You guys busy this morning? Mm, yes. You ready for us to leave yet? Yes. <laughs> Today is track walk day, which is generally one of my favorite days because we get the most sort of like consistent and natural bits of interaction with the athletes. Generally, this is one of the most busy days for the team because everyone's getting their forks and shocks serviced. Athletes are gonna be walking, team's gonna be busy, and overall it's gonna be a super energetic day. So let's go <laughs> check out the pits. It's nice and busy already. It's 10 past, quarter past nine, and we're filling up. Do you think they'd have enough time to service my fork? Well, in uh, classic Jake and Schaefer form, we're hiking up the track for track walk today because we don't want to miss any of the athletes, but it's uh, definitely still a little greasy this morning. If I don't make it. <laughs> oh, freaking heck. <laughs> Something tells me we shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> you should have registered for the race. Dude, I actually had a nightmare about that. Did I tell you about that? <laughs> I had a nightmare that to become a filmer for downhill races, you like were forced to enter the race and like prove that you were worthy of filming the race. I was so scared. Some might accuse me of being a little bit basic for wearing these. Some may accuse me of being a fashion trend chaser, um, and you'd be right. <laughs> That's exactly right. On it, and I was pretty much sick of being harassed for wearing sandals. Did I dream that or did you tell me that and I thought I dreamed it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you dreamed that. I don't think I told you that you had to enter the downhill race to qualify as a filmer. Oh, oh also it's cowboy day in Leger. Well, oh, fuck. <laughs> Do you think these are deciduous or coniferous forests? You know, when you're on track walk, you pretty much ask the same question every time, which is, how's the track looking? And we're trying to switch it up a little bit, like maybe ask a question that's a little more interesting and something that athletes aren't absolutely sick of being asked. If this course had a spirit animal, what would it be? Honey badger. Because oh, honey badger don't give a fuck. <laughs> and you really need to not give a fuck and light every section up. Nice, heck Crazy. yeah. Crazy. Man, I was exact. I knew you'd have some <laughs> <laughs> some obscure animal. Yeah. I reckon a pangolin. Like, you know, it's dry, it's chill, but if anything goes wrong, it gets wet, it's gonna be terrible. What in the world is a pangolin? pangolin. What, the, uh, what caused coronavirus? <laughs> so if it's chilling, it's fine. If it rains, your shit's going wrong. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Yeah, it would be a tiger because it attack you, you know, like. You never rest and just go for it. <laughs> I knew it was good here because I've been riding here when I was younger. I didn't do the last walk up, but because uh, I was injured. But the track is amazing. Yeah, it has a bit of everything, you know, and they taped it uh, really good. I think they made some change, some new section. So yeah, it, it is quite complete, it has a bit of everything and this is like real mountain biking. A bit of everything honestly, the top kind of looks slick and then the sun came out so I guess it kind of dried up but uh, the, the top is like rocky and steep and then super fast section up there and then here it's kind of like fresh, a bit open, a bunch of lines as well so uh, yeah, I can't wait to see the bottom but honestly I think it's going to be really cool and it's going to be a good weekend. I'm quite excited because it's a new track and they make a lot of change I think and uh, it's looking good fast and uh, really technical and steep on some parts so there is a bit of everything on this track so I'm excited to, to ride it. You gotten some good training in in the off season? Yeah for sure, a bit of rehab after the after the shoe and then yeah a lot of training and uh, good riding with the team and testing so yeah really good. It's looking good eh? like super technical track uh, I think the track gonna change a lot during the week because there is some new parts and the dirt is super soft so it's cool. We love the we love soft dirt, but yeah, track gonna change a lot. So it will be challenging. 
Have you ridden here much before? Uh, when I was younger for one or two nationals and I did two World Cups here already. Always a good, uh, good venue. Looks really good to be honest. Typical French, classic. Yeah, it's classic French downhill track really. They've left it quite natural, so I think it will change loads over the practice day and even qualifying day, so. How was the off season? Really good, mate, yeah. Like quite a short one, I guess, because we're starting quite early this time. But um, no, really good, really positive. We made some really nice changes with the bike and I stayed injury free and just had a solid winter, to be honest. Um, so I feel in a good place. So looking forward to getting started. Like the weather for March is pretty good, so. Looking forward to riding it. I haven't been here before, so it's my first time here. And yeah, it looks really good, nice and fresh, so I'm excited to get on the bike for sure. If this track had a spirit animal, what would it be? I was gonna say raccoon, cause like, they're kinda cool and they look pretty sick and they do funny stuff and then they'll just fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's just my favorite animal in general. Raccoon's your favorite I animal? think so, yeah. <laughs> that trap. I always want to run a raccoon sanctuary when I retire. Just have them <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I could not picture a better future for you. <laughs> <laughs> How was it around the pit today? Busy. Not for me, because I was not doing much. I just talk. But uh, so many shocks. It's interesting, I think a lot of people haven't gotten new product just shipping such a disaster and it's really early as well. So a lot of people are bringing product from last year that we're going through and getting ready for this race. And then probably will have to do it again when they get new product for the next race. But yeah, it's, it's as busy as I've seen it, I think. Would you go so far as to say you were shocked? Hmm. How long you been saving that one, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> Two years. <laughs> Do you anticipate any unique settings or tuning for this track in particular? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Well, a if it's wet, everything goes out the window. It doesn't matter anymore. It's just getting down the hill. I remember when it's dry. There's like some pretty massive compressions and some off camber stuff. So. Obviously, it's always kind of the same deal. It's like finding that balance of grip and bottom out protection. But uh, we've got some new stuff that we're playing with, so I think we're in a pretty good place. Uh, got any jokes for that one? Uh, no. Mm. <laughs> if I do, I'll fork them over. Super good being back out on the track today. Like, especially with today being the first race of the season, it was really good. Seeing everyone being back after the winter off, everyone seems stoked on the track. It's looking really good, especially if it stays dry. So we will see you tomorrow for the first day of practice.